So this is kind of an interesting topic. Huawei, the largest phone manufacturer you've probably never heard of, primarily sells in China. It's the third largest manufacturer of phones in the world. They have their own digital wallet, much like Apple Pay, and it's their version of it. So once again, third largest manufacturer in the world has, is the first to add a Bitcoin feature to their wallet. So now you can pay with Bitcoin using the Huawei wallet. So back up for a second. What does this mean? Why does it have context to me? So my opinion, I see Bitcoin a lot like uh, a penny stock, for instance. It's an extremely volatile market because it's a very small amount of people relative to larger things like the Fortune you know, 500 and the Index 500. Uh, it's, it's a very small percentage of funds that are in there. So movements in and out of Bitcoin radically affect that market and the value of that stock, if you will. It's not a stock, it's a currency, I get that, but you get the analogy. Well, if Bitcoin moves into a much more consumer-based market in China, the user base of Bitcoin will become much larger. And it could happen very, very quickly, which would stabilize the currency. So this could be one of the first moves to have a cryptocurrency start to stabilize and become less volatile and, less de or, and more dependable as an actual reliable currency that has consistent value from day to day. So no matter what your interest is in cryptocurrency, this could be one of the moves that globally stabilizes that market. So I find it pretty interesting and I'd like to track what kind of user adoption it is. I think it won't be long before Bitcoin uh, becomes available on other devices, native to other devices, and not through some other third-party app, which will, of course, make it much more widely adopted among mass market consumers.